10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off, Sit for fire aim high, go Falcon, go Dragon. As we get ready for max dynamic pressure, we are now throttling down the first stage engines on the Falcon power and telemetry nominal. Everything continues to look good. Vehicle is supersonic and passing through maximum dynamic pressure. You've heard we're supersonic, we're through max Q. We're getting ready now to throttle the engines back up on the first stage. Stage one, throttle up. There's the call out. Okay, the major activity coming up in just over 10 seconds. Shut down and drag and escape from the Falcon 9. Dragon launch escape initiated. Dragon's away. And we do have the report, loss of telemetry from Falcon 9, first stage. And there you just saw the trunk jettison again, some really loud cheers here in Hawthorne, California. This test is looking great so far. Now the Dragon control system is now going to be reorienting the capsule. We're at a high altitude where the aerodynamics are negligible. So we're going to use the small Draco thrusters on the Dragon capsule to reorient it. That gets it in a position with a heat shield down to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and then later to deploy the Drogue parachutes. And we have the view from a different camera on Dragon showing the four main parachutes. Now they are deployed in a reefed condition. That means we're keeping them fairly shut to avoid shocks and now we're slowly opening up the four parachutes. Great views coming okay. off of the Dragon camera on the left and we can also see the four parachutes from the airplane on the right. That is a really cool view. Nice view of the orange and white parachutes as they're opening up into the second position. And then going to fully open. From fully open, we'll be descending about 20 to 25 feet per second down to the Atlantic. And we expect when Dragon splashes down, it's going to be roughly 32 kilometers offshore. And we are down. Down a little bit early, in fact. All in all, this looked like a really great test.